Oi there, it's Rain Head again. I just want to say before we get started, a huge thank you to Oren Cross for making such a quick, precise, to the point video about setting up Warado that I used to uh, learn some things. So I will be referencing one little trick that I found in that video, but everything else is going to be same old same old we're going to be starting from the video my first video that i made that you can find here so if you get confused about how to upload to warado afterwards follow that and you should be fine all right so here we are we are starting from where we started before except i don't have all of the all of the add-ons that i downloaded before so let's start from there Dynamic Bones is a paid asset, which means that I bought a copy of it. I don't know how much it costs now, but it was about 14-ish pounds when I first got it. Not too expensive. You can use Spring Bones, which is free, but you're going to have to figure that one out on your own. Good luck! Over the Package Manager window, Package Manager, just like that. Um, if you bought it, it should be in here. You uh, re-download it and then click Import. You get all, yep, and then close. And now you have the dynamic bone folder. The only thing about this is you do have to delete a specific file or it's not going to work. And if you look on the error message at the bottom, it will show you where that file is. So assets, Warado, packages, dynamic bone, demo, dynamic bone, demo one. So we'll go to there, Warado, packages, dynamic bone demo and right here this is the file we need to delete so just click it press the delete button yep and the error message is gone now we can start adding dynamic bones to the model you add it wherever you need to i'm going to put it on the armature just because that's what i'm used to you press add component dynamic bone and sure, let's start with the wings or the tail, I guess, if that's the easiest to get get a hold of. So start with the tail, press play. Um, make sure you're in the right window to be able to move the model from the hips. Yep. And the tail is moving, but not in a way that I want it to. So again, go to the armature. I'm going to lock this inspector and you want to mess around with damping. Uh, elasticity, uh, stiffness. So I'm going to try to keep the stiffness down, elasticity, maybe put it up a little bit, and damping, put it up as well. Damping is like air resistance, sort of. Elasticity is how much it, I guess, bounces around. It's kind of hard to explain, but you mess with those until you're good and you press this three dotted column here and copy component we press play again once you're done messing with it and paste component values uh so once once this is all done to your liking you need to um either overwrite the mod that we made prior or make a new one. Oh, here we go I do have a mod folder here. Okay, we'll just make a new mod. So, Wardo, new mod. Um, we're gonna call it Tail Rig. We're going to put it in the the Rain Hat Five Wardo tutorial Wardo mod folder. Select folder, create mod. Over here, Warado set up character. Uh, set up selected game object as character mod. And then, once that is done, we build. Build mod. Okay, here we go. The file is right here. We cut it. Go into the Warado settings. Character. Main properties. Open characters folder, paste in here, and we will just switch to that so you can see my tail. 
Okay. It's hard to see it move around crazy lots. Let's do another animation. It's definitely moving. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, and right. I skipped over some of the, the original stuff. That's in the first video. Go watch that one. Bye, everyone. See you.